Okay, there we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome to another Skip Twins podcast. On a Monday this time, yeah. instead of a Sunday. Because Judith had no voice yesterday. I was like, hello guys, how's it going? And yeah, it didn't. And you kept coughing. This is our second time recording this like intro bit. Um, which is why it just sounds a wee bit sort of... Rehearsed. Rehearsed, yeah. But I didn't sniff this time, you'll be pleased to know. Yeah, she sniffed at the start and the last one it was like... Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> it was just, you could hear the... Snot. Yeah, okay, let's not talk about it then. Let's not dwell on it. So, hope you're well. Yep. Winter is here. Well, winter is on its way. The sun's gone. We had to light the fire yesterday, but then the it got heat. too warm with the fire. Yeah, and the heating's on every morning. Well, like since yesterday. Yeah. It's on in the morning it's for, on like for like half, half an hour. hour. <laughs> but you said it's the last week of summer. Meteorology. Me- meteorology. Meteorology. <laughs> <laughs> meteorology. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to ignore it, but I can't. Uh, Bless you. Thank you. Um, we went surfing this weekend Which and last great. weekend. I love surfing. I forgot how much I liked it. The Benner's products. Yep. They so we were, we were surfing in crew. Dunfanahy with the Narosa slash Narosa. I think it's meant to be pronounced. Yeah. Um, they're cool. Great. They're a great bunch because they're all as mad as us. Yeah, we're just sort of out back in the water and it's just sort of like, do you think pandas can surf? They can't. I googled it. Um, also, what are elephants' feet called? Because we reasoned that you couldn't call them feet because that's just weird. And they're not hoofs. But actually, I googled it and they are just elephants' feet. So there you go. You learn a new thing every day yeah. or whatever. But yeah, surfing's good. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. It's definitely yeah. class crack. One thing that we need to put up on Twitter is, should we put, like, separate, should we make a separate YouTube channel for the Skit Twins podcast? Oh, yeah. Sort of save it clogging up everything. Yeah. So if you if you have opinions on that, tweet us yep. at skit under slash twins. Or skit underscore twins, if you prefer to use the proper term. But either way, just let us know. Um... I don't know, I think I think it probably would be handier, but just yeah. whether or not people can be bothered to subscribe to another channel. Yeah. But I mean we don't we don't I don't think we sort of like inundate you with stuff. We're not like a gaming channel that I have to upload like three times a day. Oh, I hate those. I but love I kind hate them. Like some of the videos are good and I suppose it kinda of means that there's something for everybody if yeah. you're uploading like three times a day. But also that effort to like film it all and like Edit it, edit it, and then upload it. Like sometimes we really... struggle, we struggle to do maybe like a two-minute video every yeah. week. <laughs> but like, like they must have really fast internet. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes takes like half a day to upload one video. Yeah, and then if it like if there's an error because you just kind of like leave it to upload, and you sort of come back maybe like an hour later, and it turns out there's an like an error in it, and you're like, no, you have to start again. Plus, whenever you're uploading it, everything else is super slow. So if you yeah. were trying to play a game, like on the internet or whatever, it would be freezing the whole time it's just oh sorry guys i'm just trying to upload another video for you <laughs> never ending circle that it's like 12 days until our next triathlon you count down the days and that terrifies me i don't appreciate it i just i like to know like i'm organized like that i just you're also just counting there. down the days to christmas which i do appreciate thank yeah, you very much 120 days as of what date is it today the 27th the, whatever date monday is yeah so christmas is coming it is. Santa's I'm, on his way. I'm excited for Christmas, but like... I always get excited for Christmas, but then I'm never excited on Christmas Day. It's always the lead up to it that's yeah. exciting. Like Christmas Eve, I'm pure like, oh, it's Christmas tomorrow! And then I wake up on Christmas morning, I'm like, meh, whatever. Yeah. And then it's kind of a downer whenever it's over. Like, Boxing Day, I feel is really... Oh. That's I think it's just Christmas like, Day, you're just... You, you overindulge. Like, you just eat everything, and then Boxing Day, you're just kind of like, oh my word, I had, like, half a turkey yesterday. I don't um, even think it's that. It's not that. It's just like even Christmas afternoon. I'm like, is this is this really what I was excited for? Is this really yeah. it? Like I don't know. It's not that I like get disappointed by my presents and stuff. Like I'm really hashtag grateful and hashtag blessed. Sometimes I get annoyed whenever like you look at people like with yeah. iPads and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like a pure big Mom spread. Said, like like ever since we were sort of eight, we had a tar- like we had like a limit of like yeah, seventy five pounds. <laughs> I suppose there's two of us though yeah. and like we can't both ask for like An a iPad. tablet or whatever yeah. but whenever you see pictures and people have like a big like their whole bed covered in presents and I'm like yeah I can fit mine on a chair 
<clears throat> like two DVDs, a book, some socks, some Christmas pants, because that's just standard tradition. Yeah. Christmas and then like something like a globe or something nerdy, yeah. like a big present. But like, I don't, I don't. Maybe I do kind of envy those people who have a whole heap of stuff. I don't know. I don't feel jealous. I'm just kind of like, oh right, okay. Why do you need all that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. Christmas. Yeah, triathlon. Oh yeah, twelve triathlon, days. That's how we that's got there. Got onto that. I'm scared. I'm scared too. The swim. Was... I think everyone's sort of like, oh well, you've got one over you, so the second one shouldn't be as hard. And I'm like, no, no, no. But you don't understand. Now I know what I'm in for. Yeah. Although, in fairness, now you know what you're in for. Like, I'm kind of thinking of it as I know I can swim 750, 800 metres or whatever with my head above the water if I have to. Yeah. But it's, then I, it's it's kind of like your brain focuses on the good points. Yeah. And I'm kind of, I, I know, I know that I hated it. Mm -hmm. I know that I was like near to, well, I wasn't really near tears, but I was just like, why did I do this? Yeah. I hate this so much. But. I'm kind of trying to be like, well, this time I can, I'll, I'll be braver and I'll, yeah, I'll, I, I'll yeah. be okay. <laughs> but I also am dreading it. I don't want to do it. Um, so Beck Off starts tomorrow, like the actual TV version. So hopefully we'll get ourselves organised to do we Beck Off. Yep, Melanie and Suzanne will be so back. Keep, keep but it just there. depends. Um, we <laughs> haven't been able to do it recently because it's just like we have to basically kick our family out of the kitchen, which is like in the middle of the house like it leads to outside it leads to the living room it leads to the hall like you have to go through the kitchen to get anywhere yeah um so it's kind of lousy to sort of kick our family out for an hour or two hours on a we usually do it on a sunday afternoon yeah. but we'll try and sort of book the kitchen <laughs> book it out for an hour or two and then you've got the like sort of as well like we sort of would try and do it whenever mum and dad are both at work but then sort of lately Mum hasn't been working as much just because summer, summer, and she's not really needed as much because there's enough sort of cover and yeah. she and she booked Daniel leave and stuff. But and then Dad, he's been at home because he got his cataract removed, so he hasn't been able to work as hard. Yeah, but anyway, hopefully we'll get that. We'll sorted. get something sorted yeah. hopefully for Wednesday. Yeah, and if not, it should we we should be able to make a good video. Um, yeah. What's next on our list? Uh, rain, you have done? Oh, uh, that was, we sort of covered that at the start because we talked about the weather. I was just going to say about how it's wet now. We've got, <coughs> we've got earliest childhood memory. Ooh, yeah, that's because I saw someone posting about that on Instagram and I kind of thought, hmm, what's mine? Um, I don't know, I think mine is probably the third birthday, like I talked about in the last podcast, but it could be. Mm, it's kind of, everything's sort of jumbled up, so I don't know what. Yeah, yeah, you don't know if it's first. Yeah. Because I remember vaguely playgroup going to the fire station. I don't remember that at all. I, I know we went. I know I put on a hat and I sat in the seat of the fire engine just going, this thing's Mathis. Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to the train station. <gasps> I remember that, yeah, and sitting on a train. Vaguely. Like, it's just, steam train. it's just like, you know, a really short clip like yeah. maybe half a second long but it's just me sitting on a chair and then I'm looking out the window and it goes from dark which we were clearly in like the station or a tunnel or whatever and then into daytime that's all I remember I don't I even don't... remember looking out the window I'm pretty sure I was sitting on the floor in my memory and I was looking in at the driver that's, that's all I remember that's a bit random I don't I don't think I was on a seat because... I think I was sitting backwards as far as I remember but I could be completely wrong yeah um, another one is I remember play school's Christmas party when we got you know those cameras, yeah, the cameras. It's like smile, say, say cheese, gotcha. gotcha. We got we got a camera that said those things. It was just like a wee toy camera. It didn't actually take pictures, but was that definitely play school and not the wee group and Claudie. Uh, no, it was play school. Okay. Was the... But yeah, I remember that. But I don't know what age I was whenever I got that. Well, it was play school. You must have been three or four. Yeah, I remember. Our cousin taking us for a walk. Oh, I remember that too. And we were in the buggy and fell asleep. And I remember <gasps> we went up. to the park and I needed to pee. I don't remember that. I don't even remember where we went. But I remember walking back up. I woke up, walking back up the road and just looked up and I I knew where we were. I knew we were nearly home. And then I just lay back down again, and, or like lay back again and fell asleep. But I remember it was like I was comfortable. I was happy. I was warm. Sun was shining. Yeah, I remember staying at our auntie's house and. There's bunk beds. 
<gasps> I but remember then, Uncle Forrest lost the ladder. Huh? So I had to be lifted up. And then... I can't remember how I got down in the morning. Did I just jump down or fall probably, down? Probably jumped. I remember that we went somewhere and there was a wee low wall and we were running around and I tripped and fell over this wee low wall and cut my knee. And then we got Tweety Bird t-shirts. Oh yeah, I remember that, yeah. They were from Tenerife. Were they? Yeah. I just remembered there was Tweety Bird on them and I was like, Tweety Bird. I'm pretty Bird. sure we were maybe five or six at that stage because I could read oh, yeah. the word Tenerife. <laughs> okay, I don't even remember. I know we were older then. Yeah. yeah. So the Pope was here. Pope is here, currently. Oh, is he still here? Is he still here? I don't know. I don't know either. He's on the island of Ireland. He's down Dublin direction. He's not coming up north, though. No, he's not. Doesn't like us. I think he's just worried about what will happen. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair enough. We bit of trouble up here. Um, but yeah, good for him. I think he's I think he's a cool dude. Up the Pope. And like, he's not going around... He's going around a... Is it a Skoda? Skoda, yeah. So he's not being pure fancy, you know. Yeah, low. I'm kind of annoyed he didn't go around in a transit van because there's a song. I want everybody just to sort of stop, pause this after I've said what you need to go and search. Don't just pause it right now because that'll make no sense. Anyway. Um, go and search transit van song on YouTube or even just Google. Yeah. And listen to that because at the very end it talks about the Pope and... The Queen, Queen and Charlie. And Charlie. And, yeah, it's good. It's, it's good, good, good tune. Good song. Good tune. Um, but yeah... Chloe's just wiping things off the whiteboard here as we go this through. This is how them. organised I am. Like, just, I'm sorting things out. I'm I would just, just put a tick beside it. I wouldn't wipe it off. No, because a tick means you have to wipe off more. It's True. whiteboard, by the way. I don't think we mentioned that. I did. I, I thought okay, I said whiteboard. Our, Maybe yeah. I didn't. Um, ice cream. You I were talking about ice cream whenever I was um, writing the list and I just wrote down ice yeah, cream. Yeah, because Dale Farm's doing like a tour around like Ireland. And Northern Drink. Ireland, the island of Ireland. Yes. Um, they're and, in Dunfanaghy today. They're in Dunfanaghy. And we, we, were, came... we were in Dunfanaghy on Saturday. And we came home. And we could have still been there. I was thinking about that actually before I even knew they were there. I was thinking like, we could have just stayed down on Sunday. And we could have still been there today. And then we could have just come up today. And I could have gone surfing again. And I also could have got free ice cream. I know. Raging like. Um, but yeah, Dale Farm, please come to, just come to my house and give me ice cream. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. That would actually be really... That would be fantastic. I'd love that. Go to Derry and just park outside Foil Arena. Give us free ice cream every day. Oh, unreal. Or some of your protein milk. Or you, you should, should make You should cream. make protein ice cream, like Halo Top and Brayers. But also, I need commission for that, or like money for that, because it was my idea. I said at a Dale Farm interview. Also, did I get the job or not? I yeah. know I applied in like May, but have a go I suggested uh, getting less sugar in your chocolate protein milk because it's great, but it's really high in sugar. Um, I also want money for that if you do it. Uh, also, did I get the job also too as well? <laughs> Thank you. Cheers for letting me know. Bye. We were talking about the sun earlier and we should have mentioned sunflowers and your fear of them. They're just, they're really creepy. My friend Rachel also finds them creepy, which is also, like, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Have we talked about this before? Did we not Google the word for fear of sunflowers? Yeah. Did we? I or think was so. It, no, we talked about the fear of clouds. I don't know. I think I we did sunflowers. I think we maybe did sunflowers, but sunflowers are just unnaturally tall. Like, yes, okay, you've got trees, but trees are different because they're trees. Like, sunflowers, they're just on a stem. It's the, I think it's, some. I sent a Snapchat um, and was like, can anyone explain to me why I find sunflowers so creepy? And someone said that it might be the stark contrast between the bright yellow petals and the dark brown... Middle bit. Middle bit. What's that called? The middle bit. I'm pretty sure it has a name. See how my initial reaction would be like iris, but it's not. I want to call it the face, but that makes it even more creepy. <laughs> the middle of the flower. What's that called? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it has a name. Anyway, if you know, if you know the name of that, uh, please tweet us at skit underscore twins. Or, or skit under slash twins. I was going to say, or at we judy, w-e-e-j-u-d-i-e-e. -E -E. And let me, let me know what the middle bit of a flower is called. Is it called the face? Anyway, sunflowers are creepy. Don't like them. Uh, there's a picture. I'll post it on the skit twins Twitter. And it looks like it's screaming. And it's really... I don't like it. It's really unsettling. <laughs> It's good like, work and settling. People name their children after flowers. And like just after weird things. Rose, Lily, Daisy. Uh I mean Ivy. To be fair, we've named our cat Manhole. Yeah. 
But that was because of a Dear Hank and John podcast. Yeah. Uh, the Vlog Brothers, um, John Green and Hank, Hank Green. Green. Yeah. Or, well, one of one of the cats is called Manhole. Yeah. Just because. It's a good name. I think one of the other funniest names that they suggested for a cat or a pet was Tudor Monarchy. <laughs> right, okay, hold on. We'll try what they did. So what they did was they put each other on the spot and it was just, right, list names that you could call your... Was it a cat or a dog? Cat? Dog, I dog. Think. List names that you could call your dog. Go. Uh, Pongo. Ringo. Dave. Ben? Ben. <laughs> um, um... Um, um, okay. Hup. Hup. <laughs> That's what we always say to Sue. It's always up. And she jumps up on top of her kennel. Um, so hup or up? Up. But just, um, um, window. Face? Face. I don't know. Face the dog. That's window really, the dog. That's really intense. I started off normal and then it's just sort of like all the names. I don't know that Dave and Ringo are normal names for a dog. I love human names for animals. Yeah, they are great. It's like, Deirdre chewed the curtains again. It's like, what? what? It just <laughs> sounds wrong, but it's so funny. I had to put Dave out in the kennel again. Right. We're, we're going away on holiday, but it's okay. Sam's just in at the kennels. Yeah, like it sounds like you could be talking about like your son. Son or like spouse. Yeah. I think it's funny. Manhole, manhole the cat. I've taught it to, that, that it has to let me pet it before it gets fed, so... <laughs> I know, maybe that's cruel, but... I suppose it's like teaching a dog to, like, sit. Because whenever, like, you teach dogs tricks, they just learn to do it because they think they're getting a treat. True. And then eventually they'll they'll not get a treat anymore and they'll sort of be like, oh, but I... I did the thing. That makes me really sad. Just the... F- but you used to have to, like... We were trained like that. Well, we weren't properly trained like that, but, like, we probably were. Because we used the potty. We probably got, like, praise well, of some sort. Well, you got praised of some sort, yeah. And maybe got... Or sweets. Like, kids get stickers for everything these days, though. Like, one of the kids we babysit got a sticker for... She had, like, a sticker chart, and she could get stickers for saying please and thank you, um, asking politely to go to the toilet or something, washing her hands after she goes to the toilet, um, eating her fruit and vegetables, which, I mean, okay, fair enough, for cleaning her plate, um, for doing her homework as soon as she gets home from school, for uh, getting ready for school herself, f- like for tidying her room, like just I remember her going through this, and I was like, "Are you sure this is what you get stickers for?" And she was like, "Yeah, look, there's there's like a thing here." She I had, suppose like, it teaches them. Like it's it's probably somewhere. But like we didn't have to get stickers. We just did it, or we got a wallop. I know, but you can't slap kids anymore. <laughs> I'll slap mine. Teach them something. Oh, was, I wouldn't do it in public. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't do it in public. Know, it's oh. the wait till we get home. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that. As long as you're not, like, beating the life out of them. Yeah. Like, a wee slap on the bum. Yeah. Or the wooden spoon. I wouldn't be afraid to use the wooden spoon. Oh, that put the fear into me. Although I remember one time I got really cocky, and Mum was like, I'm getting the wooden spoon. And I was like, where you go then? And then she slapped me with the wooden spoon, and I laughed. Because I think I was just so hyped. Or, like, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I don't even remember. And then she slapped me again, and I started crying. Because I was like, oh, it's sore. I'm sorry, mum. It's one of those things, though, like the wooden spoon and things like that. You just need it once. You just need it the once, and then it's just the fear. Yeah, it's just mum. Just like I'm going to get the wooden spoon. You're like, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Even I can still hear. We had a wee thing that held all the like cooking things, like the wooden spoon and the spatula and everything. <gasps> the sound of the it. The sound out. of it, <gasps> like being unsheathed. <laughs> <laughs> just that noise you're like <gasps> I put the fear in you you, were, you like immediately you stopped. ran or else you like I, rem- I remember running upstairs just sprinting into my room being like I'm sorry I'm sorry I won't do it again <laughs> oh. it was good though taught taught you things yeah. taught you how to behave dad used the belt on us once I got it I got it once I remember getting it once <sighs> and I didn't speak to him for the rest of the day thinking back like I did flip and deserve it but like you you only do it for the end of the day. I could hold a grudge for a good like two or three days and just not speak now to I'm anyone. Fa- now I'm far worse. I can't hold a grudge for more than maybe an hour. And then I'm just like, mm-hmm. can I mug? I think if anything, I'm worse. <laughs> so I could hold a grudge for like days and just sort of be like, no, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. Because it's weird. It's like, oh, gone, you text mum. It's like, why can't you? It's like, I'm not talking to her. It's like, 
right okay that was like, well, like yesterday it's, it's not with you because you i'm with all the time but like with parents and stuff i could just be like no i'm not talking to you i have a lot more respect for my parents than you excuse me our parents i should say <laughs> i don't know just sometimes they just get on my nerves and just like you know what i'm just not gonna talk to you and then just i just feel you... really really bad i'm like That's my i mom. do but at the same time then they speak and i'm like oh <laughs> Like, I get annoyed, but I'm also like, it's fine. They love me. I love you, mommy. Um, but yeah. Also, you're a hugger. I'm a hugger. I'm not a hugger. I'll sort of, I'll hug people, like, to be polite. Yeah. You used to be a hugger. Was I? Yeah. yeah. I definitely remember you going for hugs and me kind of awkwardly stamping, going, I don't know if I should hug you or not. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I, I'm not a hugger. I just don't like... I, I hug think it's family. Just a, yeah, no, like I'll hug like and family friends and, friends and stuff. But, but just like hugging strangers, I wouldn't go straight for a hug. No, yeah, no, like I wouldn't either. Like even if I was a hugger, I wouldn't do that. But like I'm not like an overly huggy person. Like I'd hug people if I'm saying goodbye to them and I won't see them for a while or like something like that. I wouldn't just sort of like go up to someone, I love you, or like you know, just going up to my mum or my dad and just giving them a hug is a bit alien to me. <laughs> I don't know. I just that I just really weirds me out because I just. You just do it. I just do it. Think about it. Because I'm like, ask my mum, I'm going for a hug. Hug. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not an overly emotional person. Like, I don't show my emotions, I think, as much as you do. What do you mean? Like, you would be very sort of like, outward about your emotions. Just whenever I'm angry. Or whenever you're sad. Like, you would cry more than me. No. Like, you, you cried more whenever granny died. I didn't. I didn't cry until the funeral, and that was just because. That's I only all. cried at the funeral. No, you cried whenever Mum first told us, because I came down after you, and I was like, Are "You okay?" And then you were like lying in your bed crying, and I was like, "Oh," but mm. I just I didn't cry until the funeral. So I think it was because I was just the. I think it was more annoyance because I was the last one to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happened that I got up to pee at that point, and Mum was letting the phone rang, and then I answered it, and then Dad was like, "Um, I can't remember." He just said something really like. Serious, secretive so. yeah he sounded really serious but he was just like just tell mum something like blah 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 and then mum came up the stairs and i was like oh dad just rang and he said just to tell you like i think it was something like joyce knows something like that and then mum was like oh, okay um i have something to tell you and i was like right okay what, what's happened and then she was like um granny hutchinson's dead and i was like oh Oh, really Why did you tear this up? Why did you start talking about that? Because you, you said I was more emotional than you and I cried I know, more than you. you trying to prove a point. didn't need to go into that story, though. It's a like, sad story. Yeah. This is not what our podcast is about. Sorry. Do you want to pick it up and say something Let's happened? talk about Miranda. Miranda Hart is great because she is happy. In a funeral. She did a funeral and... <laughs> and she didn't know who it was that was in the box. <laughs> Have you seen that episode? No. No. Um, it was like she got a new phone and she was trying to listen to her voicemail message. Sorry, this is Miranda, the sitcom comedy show on the BBC, or that used to be on the BBC. I thought you said Miranda Hart, Starring so I thought that was... Miranda Hart. Just to make sure that, you know, because the storyline's, like, fictional. Sorry, mostly, yes, and yes. Yeah, didn't actually happen. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, she got a phone call, and or no, she got a phone message, and then she didn't know how to work it. And then she tried to listen back to it and she only got half of the message and it was like, old funeral's tomorrow at 2pm or whatever. And then she was like, I got this yesterday, I don't know who it is. And then she got there and then she was trying to ask her mum who it was and then she got dragged up to the front and it was like, oh yeah, we decided that um, we would pick a few of the relatives to speak, to, to say something about him. And then she was sitting there, she was like, right, okay, this is fine, this is fine. And then the priest got up and started sp- speaking. She tried to lean over and read the wee, like, thing, what do you call it? Or like, order of service. Oh, right. It doesn't even name on it. Um, and she couldn't see it. And she was trying to move the woman's hands. The woman turned to her and just held her hand, like, sort of just going, I know, I know, like patting her hand. And then it was, and the first person to speak will be Miranda. She's like, oh, right, okay. And then she stood up and she was just saying, oh, he was a uh, great, great person, weren't they? Um, you know, they, it just makes you think, Oh, you. And then the wee woman at the front was just going, Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> and then she said something like, He was. And she was like, He. <laughs> he, okay. And then she started naming random relatives like, Cousin Stephen. And then a guy raises his hand and says, Is here. Great. And then it was, 
I can't remember, it was like Uncle Robert or something. And then it was, ah, oh, brilliant. Not brilliant that he's, he was brilliant. And yeah, sorry, anyway, it's covered it well. But yeah, no, Miranda's great. Um, I just like, I have a book of like, they think you got it for me for Christmas? I did, yeah. It was sort of like Miranda's book of fun or something like that. And it's sort of like daily challenges almost to make life just that little bit more exciting. So it's like, um, have a samba party. Walk around What's the house samba? nude. <laughs> like maracas and stuff. Oh, okay. And it's just sort of like random wee challenges and sometimes it's just sort of like smile at someone. Aww. And sometimes it's a wee bit more extreme like go skinny dipping. <laughs> and it's like, um, no. <laughs> I will take a bath though. <laughs> That's you... the same thing. <laughs> but yeah. Um I know I don't I know we don't have a bath, Judith, I was gonna say just... it. It's the thought. Um Oh, one of them was like, go see a kids movie, which we technically did last week. We wanted to see Christopher Robin. I don't know that it's a kid mo kids movie. It had quite it's a late show in. Yeah, I was going to say, it's sort of like, Winnie the Pooh is a kids show, but I think Christopher Robin was more for like the adults that grew up with Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. But it's a, it's a good film. You should go watch it or get it on DVD whenever it comes out. If you're too cute. Well, I don't know. DVDs are more expensive yeah. to go to the cinema, but then you have it forever, so... But then some films you only want to like watch once and then sort of like maybe leave it for a couple of years you. and then you'll watch it again and again and again. Like, we have so many DVDs and you just look at them and it's like, oh, I don't want to watch that. But I think that's just because they're so good. It's either because they're so good or they're so bad, like so good that you remember it all and you start watching like, oh, right, this happens and this happens and this happens. Yeah. Or else it's so bad that you're just like, no, I can't even stand like Colin Firth chewing something. What? I don't know. I'm thinking of like something really annoying. Not that Colin Firth is annoying. Just, you know, I don't like loud che cheers. And yeah, that came to mind. I'm just okay. Just annoying. <laughs> um, so we just did Northern Irish Phrase of the Week. We haven't done that yet. It's the Northern Irish Phrase of the Week! Fantastic intro there. So, uh, it's. Do you want to do it this week, Judith? No, go ahead. I did the intro. It's, um, you well. I think we've done. I think we've done well, well before, but but you well means are you well? Are you okay? Are you good? Yeah, just how's it's, it going? It's a greeting. Yeah, yeah. Just, you well? Yeah, it can be. Yeah, it can be like hello, but like you can say it just in passing. You don't have to say I'm all right. You you could just say you well, and just you don't need a response. You just kind of go hi yourself, or else you can just ask the same question back, and it no one bats an eyelid. It's just sort of same thing. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like in England, they go, how are you? And it's, you don't, they don't expect you to answer it. No, but I mean, like, they expect you to be like, oh yeah, I'm okay. I don't know. Anytime anyone asks, goes to me, like, how are you? How are you? I'm like, how are you? Like, I just say it back. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, that's the Northern Irish thing, but you were talking about over in England, like, people usually answer Are the English that. people not do that? No, because... That's a bit awkward. Pretty sure I've done that to an English person. <laughs> and they're like, how are you? And I'm like, how are you? Yeah. I probably think you're being rude. She's like, oh, I'm not going to answer you. Answer I'm first. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. That's weird. Different. It's like one of those things like, what do you want? No, no, no. What do you want to do? English people are weird. You don't smile at people. You don't make eye My contact. Word, you can't just offend an entire like nation of people. Sorry, English people, but you should smile more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, sure a lot of people that's, do. That's you what just... I was going to say, yeah. I know that in London, like everyone, like fair enough, sort of like, business and stuff and everybody's going around trying to get where they're going but here like if you're walking along and you make eye contact with someone you you, you smile you at smile them. or you go hi um or hi or whatever but over there if you make eye contact with someone and you say hi they kind of go what like they just give you a look and you're like sorry <laughs> yeah that's one thing that i like it's a hard thing to like get out of your head things like that just like things that you do do english like, people think the bus driver i don't know i've never been in a london bus me neither well, I have, but I've never got off at the same time as other people. Don't know if they thank them or not. When have we been on a London bus? Whenever we were getting our Duke of Egg Gold. Were we on a London bus? Yeah. Well, it wasn't necessarily like one of the red buses, but it was a bus and it was in London. <laughs> I don't remember that. I thought we got taxis. No, we got one taxi, but to get like to Baker Street and stuff, we got a bus. Did we get a bus? We did. And then the bus driver was like, no, 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 that's, that's actual Baker Street, but what you want is like such and such a street because that's where the Sherlock Holmes Museum is. Oh, I don't remember that at all. And we had to walk a few streets. Oh, that's cool. Don't remember that. 
cool. I'd like to thank the tube drivers, although I suppose they're just automated. Is there tube drivers? Is there, yeah, I think there is. I think people do drive the tube. Yeah. Just like people drive trains. <laughs> and do people drive, what do you call it? Um, the thing that's on the monorail. No, but it's not a monorail. It's on the ground. Trams. Trams. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, we were sitting like behind the driver's seat whenever we went on it. Yeah. What's a monorail? Is it the one that the rail's above it? Yeah, and there's just one rail. Oh, there's just one rail. Yeah, trams. There's Mono. like one underneath. <laughs> No, I just I was like, but a tram only has one, but it has but one a tram, above as well. A tram works on the road. That's the difference between a tram and a train. A train needs actual tracks. A tram needs like tiny tracks, like one underneath. It does not need no, no one it needs, needs two. two. And then but just it doesn't. Just right, yeah, got it. Right, tram two, one of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me in that journey of discovery. <laughs> <laughs> but like things like trams and tubes and stuff, like. Well, not necessarily tubes, but like trams that go two ways. Do they have a driver at the front or the back, or does the b- driver have to like bolt through, <laughs> strong <laughs> through the place just to get? I there? don't know. Maybe you can drive it from both ends, and you're just driving backwards. Maybe there's like a camera, no, like but, a reversing camera. Yeah, but then if like a cat or something runs out, you you'll see it like a split second too late. Shouldn't have been on the rails then. I know, but like you could have stopped, but like. You can't because you've seen it too late. But if it was like a worm, you would then have two cats. Yeah. You could perform some surgery and make cat dog. Cat dog. I hated that show. It really weirded me out. I didn't, I was always like, but how did they poop? Yeah. <laughs> that was always my question too. Let's see, we try and wrap this up. We wrap it up with... Yeah, I need to pee a little childhood bit. memory. Which actually brings me on to my childhood memory. That was really cool, actually. You know I, what? I was going to try and get through an entire podcast without talking about pee and a lot. Which, I suppose we got nearly to the end. But that was my childhood memory I wrote down here. Yeah. Um. So you saw it. You knew it was coming. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, my childhood memory takes place in P1. Uh, Primary or, one, which is what, year oh, two? Oh, sorry. Year... Yeah. Because re- reception is... Year oh, one. no, 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 year... No, yeah, because yeah, no, P7 reception, is year reception. 6. So it was reception for you people in England. Oh, yeah, because year 6 is P7. Yeah. So they're a year behind. Yeah, so in reception. Slash so whenever, whenever you're aged 4 or 5. <laughs> yeah, I was to be a boy. I must have been 4. Because four, four, it was, cause it was at the start, yeah. So um, our primary school moved schools whenever we were like halfway through P1. I got to walk with Mr. McMaster and William. Your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, this He's not my actual boyfriend. We we were quote unquote going out from P one to P seven, and then Drumhole Primary School's cutest couple. Yeah, longest anyway. running couple. Anyway, um, anyway, story. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the old school, and I was like fairly new. I'm pretty sure it was before Christmas. Yeah, because we moved just after Christmas. Did we? Um, Because it, w- it was still quite warm outside. I know I wasn't wearing my coat that day. But anyway, um, any time I needed to go to the toilet at break time, I would have gone with someone else. I would have made sure that someone else was going and I would have followed them because I didn't know where the toilets were because I don't think I was ever shown. I think it was just sort of the toilets are down there and I couldn't read the signs because obviously I can't see. Um, But whatever happened that day, I didn't go at break time. And I was sitting in class and I just couldn't hold on any longer. <laughs> I'd love to have that. Just like, just be able to just let it go. Instead of like going through like the pain of holding it. Yeah. But you can get away with it whenever you're a kid. It's just, oh, you're on the way. Um, whereas if you wet yourself now, it would be like, what the flip is wrong with you? <laughs> but anyway. You need an adult nappy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I couldn't hold on anymore. So I just kind of let go. But I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell the teacher or anyone beside me. Um... And I kind of thought, oh, it'll it'll absorb in my dress, it's fine, or in my pinafore. And then I remember looking at the floor and being like, all oh, right, okay, the floor's wet, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I really had to go. <laughs> um, but anyway, I got Wait, on. hold on, can I interrupt you? We were in different classes for primary one, so I wasn't there at this time, so this is kind of like... And you had toilets at the back of your classroom yeah. anyway, so you could have gone any time. Um, but yeah, uh, that on happened. The floor. <laughs> yeah, that happened, and I didn't tell anyone. And then it was like, right, okay, you can go play now. So then I got off my chair. I sat at the very front, so I got off my chair and went up to the front and got like a box of toys or whatever. And they were checking. The teacher was checking underneath people's desks 
for some reason she had said right I need to check under your desk so where you go and play and she would like the wee basket underneath mm -hmm. I think it was because she wanted to make sure that it was tidy or maybe someone had lost their book or something and she was trying to find the book um but I remember watching and look at, like thinking about it now I'm like oh the poor teacher um because she was put she was like pulling out the chairs and because the chairs and the tables were so low she was like putting her hand on the chair to like lean down to look underneath and she got to my chair and she pulled it out and put her hand on the chair and went to bend down and then she kind of suddenly went, oh. <laughs> Just sort of pulled back away. She pulled back and she looked at her hand and looked at the chair and looked at the floor and then she looked at the desk to see whose chair it was and was like, Judith. I was like, what? Yeah? <laughs> Is there a problem? <laughs> um, and then she kind of, she made me stand up and she like, turn around and then she saw the back of my pinafore was obviously soaking. Um, and then I remember her kind of I think she was quite rough with me, but maybe it was because I didn't really like... She kind of scared me anyway. Yeah. But I think it was just because, like, I was P1 and everything was a bit scary and new and stuff. But I think she was a bit rough with me and she kind of dragged me down to the toilet and she was like, right, here, put these trousers on. Take off your pinafore and put these trousers on. And the trousers were massive. Like, I'd say they must have been a P4, P5 trousers. Mm -hmm. But I suppose it was all they had, so... And I had to take my, my tights, my pants, my pinafore off. And I had to wear these massive, massive trousers. <laughs> and it wasn't, yeah, it sucked. Um, but I think that it must have been near the end of the day. Because then we had to walk to after schools. And I had my wet stuff in my bag and I had my bag on my back. And then I had to walk along and I had to keep hoisting up these trousers. I had to just hold them the whole way there. And it was oh, good. yeah, and then you got like a like size... Oh, flip, like a toddler or something trousers and they were so uncomfortable i was commando as well and they were like <laughs> <laughs> they were like so tiny and they kept digging in in all the wrong places <laughs> i was so miserable that day i was like i want the big ones back <laughs> i don't think i ever wet myself at school i wet myself at home one time <laughs> someone was in the main like in, in the old house someone was in the toilet and i was like oh I'll go to the mum was like go to the utility room and I was like, but it's dark, it's scary out there. And then she like took me out to the door and then she was like, right, away you go, away you go over um, to the toilet. And then I was just, I just stood at the back door and was like, no, mom, I need to go, I need to go. And I was just, boom, just let rip. <laughs> yeah, all over the mat. I, would, I think it would have been okay if it was just over the floor because you just mob it up, but I soaked the mat. So yeah, that's my... Always make sure you know where the toilet... That's what we do now, though. We yeah, always, like, first, first thing, thing we, we do is, is, is look, look for the, the toilet. I think that's why. Because I never really knew you in P1. Yeah. And then you've got, we've got our own wee mini ways of making sure that we're not walking into the male toilets by accident. Or we always, it's just constantly, that's the male one, that's the male one, that's the male one. It's the man's Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> or else you'd be walking you just, it. You just own it though, if you don't. I remember, I can't remember where it was, but I went up and it just so happened to be the male toilets and it took me until I was right at the door. And I sort of like, I put my hand on the door just to sort of like, I don't know, almost steady it, even though it wasn't moving. <laughs> yeah. Um, just to like, see what it was, because I had to stop my tiptoes. Um, and then the door opened and a guy walked out and I instantly just fired my hand straight up to where the sign was and be like, Meal. <laughs> <laughs> like you were reading Braille. Read Braille. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> and then just sort of like, followed the wall around, sort of went, Yes, that is female. <laughs> nice, nice one, nice save. I don't know, I just generally um, wait until I see someone coming out or going in. And yeah. I'm like, I mean, really? follow that woman. Yeah. Or else, if mom's there, I'm like, Mama, which one's the girl's toilets? I, it's, all, it's all right whenever the doors are beside each other, because then you can just sort of like, yeah, walk, walk past. past. <laughs> <laughs> but it's whenever they're like on other, like opposite ends of the room. Oh, I or fucking place. hate that. I hate that, because then you've, you've war already walked over. And it's like, oh flip, that's the meal toilets. And then you're kind of walking away and it's like, or else, I suppose if it didn't have to go really badly, you could just stand outside and be like, looking at your watch going, where is he? Like pretend you're waiting on Unless someone. it's a restaurant or something. But oh, generally yeah, if we're at a restaurant, we're with like Parents. people who can see. Or, yeah, <laughs> like people who understand the problem. Or else a restaurant that we know. We sort of, yeah. I suppose we don't really go to new restaurants that much. And there's, there's not there's not much choice in the yeah, restaurants I was gonna to say, be yeah. there, but yeah, I think we'll will we end the podcast there. Yeah, because I really need to go now. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching, listening, um, watching, li yeah, listening. Um, 
well, I suppose, yeah, you could be watching the screen if you're watching on YouTube in, like, two weeks whenever I decide to put it up. I think this is a short one, isn't it? Yeah, it's only been about 40 minutes. But that's okay, because I don't... I think we we always try to aim for 40 minutes anyway, and we end up just running on. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, um, if you want to contact us, it's um, on Twitter, it's skit underscore twins. Or on Instagram, we are skit, skit twins. No? No, skit under slash twins. Oh, so the same, the same thing. Um, okay. And Facebook, just search skit twins. And YouTube, obviously, just search skit twins. Um, yeah. Uh, but do tweet us yeah. and stuff. Um, we always like getting we tweets and mentions and stuff. It's really exciting. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm a fan. Um, <laughs> but even that, it's just like, oh, loved. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just tweet us anything. Are you afraid of sunflowers too? Like, what please? are you afraid of? Uh, you excited for Bake Off? Yeah. I don't know. What should we bake for Bake Off? Because for Bake Off, we should Bake Off. Because we always bake the same things. Um, I meant to ask again for shout outs and stuff, but I didn't. Um, but there we go. Shout out to you, the listener. Yeah, you're yeah, great. you go. Woo. Yeah. Do the thing, whatever you're doing while you listen to this. Um, like, walk straighter, run faster, tidy up, Hoover. Do those dishes. Sit comfortably. Sleep, but don't sleep. Well, you can sleep now because it's nearly the end of the podcast. So, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Unless you're waiting, listen to this in the morning, in which case, wake up. Wake up. up wake up um but also yeah like this podcast leave a review share it i think is the most important one share yeah, it with share your it. friends and people you don't like if you if you don't like the podcast share it with people you don't like if you do like it share it with people you do like and people you don't like just just share it with everybody just we like, welcome everybody here yeah like we hope that we sort of make people's days a little less boring a little less mundane give you a little bit of a smile as we 23 year old sorry we talked about talk death. about pee and yeah brought a bit of a diner there won't yeah, do that did. again promise you just brought it down again but anyway yeah we hope you make we make your day like just that little bit happier so you know if you smiled share it and just <laughs> just put a smiley face and just share it and then people will be like oh what's this smiley face about and then or put a really be, vague quote yeah and then everyone will be like what? Wait, no, if you made it to this far in the podcast, you should tweet. Bubbles. No, but Bubbles is just... like Alpaca. yeah, bu- Bubbles, but share the podcast. Alpaca. Or too many cooks <laughs> <laughs> spoil the brothel. Too many cooks spoil the brothel. There we go. Is that going to be our code That's gonna be our code. We should do this. This is going to be a thing now. We have a code phrase at the end of every podcast. Is it going to yeah. be a hashtag or do you just have to say it? You just have to say it. Maybe tag us in it. Share the podcast. Yeah. Do something anyway. Hashtag alpacas. Okay. Hashtag alpacas or too many cooks spoil the brothel if you want to be a wee bit more risque. Or you can do both. Yeah. Do both as well if you want. Anyway, I think we've babbled on enough. Yeah. We've babbled on for an extra like three minutes. And I'm going to pee myself again. Okay. So uh, take care. Be good. Make good choices. Go well. Peace and love. Bye. Wee. Love you.